All right, Shalom. First and foremost, of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Magar Kodash. Double arms to the apostles and others, a great millstone for teaching us from the warm and truth. We're going to buy and roll well in peace and blessings so collected the nation of Israel. Take the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. <coughs> we'll get into the Lord's will and edifying lesson. Uh, we're one day closer. <coughs> we're one day closer to Yahweh Bashim Shai sending to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who the world inly calls God, sending His only begotten Son back, Yahweh Shai, who the world equally calls Jesus Christ. You know, we're one day closer, you know, to the uh, total collapse and a uh, complete downfall. Uh, of Babylon, the great economic system, you know, the stability that these people have, you know, everything is spiraling into the, 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 the those who trust in Yahweh by Shema Shai's favor, you see, because we're, we're at the time of the end, you know, and judgment such has never been seen upon the face of the earth, you know, a, a time of evil is also what's coming, to America, and this is a day, you know, that we look for, you know, just as it tells you in limitations, when it was our time to fall, you know, it was the day wherein the heathens looked for us to be a uh, disconnect with our power, but now are we standing upon our feet in great boldness in the face of such that has afflicted us, and we are chanting down uh, Babylon the Great. Declaring what Yahweh Shema Shai is about to do unto the whole world. And our Lord, you know, Yahweh Shema Shai, he is a man of his word. You know, he's about to get great glory, you know, and fame through all the earth by bringing his word to pass. And that's what we're banking on the Heavenly Father bringing his word to pass. This is uh, St. Mark. <coughs> Chapter 13, verse 19, for in those days shall be afflictions, and that's the days that we're coming into, the days leading up to Yahweh Shai's second coming. It says, for in those days shall be afflictions. Let's look at the definition for afflictions. It says disorder, you see, <clears throat> and that's what these elites you know, are trying to do their, trying to bring the order out of chaos, uh, uh, order out of chaos, you see, <clears throat> but this disorder, you know, people are, er, everything's out of order, I tell you in Psalms 8 and 2 and 5, 8 2 and 5, all the foundations of the earth are out of course, these people are disorderly, you know, there's about to be a, a disrupt in the order to the society, that's what Yahweh Shema Shai is about to bring, he's about to show the world, you know, what happens when a nation rules in such manner of wickedness as Babylon the Great has. This is disorder, definition of affliction, it says suffering, something that causes pain, or suffering, so it says, for in those days shall be affliction. By how? By Yahweh, by Shema, Shai, send those, you know, War, evil, and the pestilence. You see, I hate just in the sword, famine, death, and destruction. You know, this is what's written in the Holy Bible. You know, this is where the truth is. And those who are, are wise are sanctifying themselves with the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai. And they're getting themselves in order. They're getting themselves ready for this great and terrible day. And it's a fight every day that we must fight. But we have to prepare ourselves for the times that are coming. It says, For in those days shall be afflictions, affliction, such as was not from the beginning of, of creation, which Yahweh created unto this time, neither shall be. So a time <coughs> like no other is coming. A time a trouble is coming. You see, Ezekiel 7 in 25, destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Destruction, you know, for Babylon the Great, you know, 
the main focus is really the Israelites. You know, because these Edomites, those, these heathens, you know, they got a little shekels in the bank. They have a food stored up. They have a, you know, bug out plans. But what do you Jakes have? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. What do you really have to stand up and, and defend yourself, you know, from this great day that's coming? It's really the time of your trouble and what and we're gonna prove that this is a um, <clears throat> Hebrews chapter 10 it says uh, verse 30 for we know him that have said vengeance belongeth unto me I will recompense and Yahweh Shema Shai is about to bring vengeance upon his enemies and his adversaries and right underneath Esau, Edom, you know, these heathen nations, you two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, are right there, really. You know, if you understand the scriptures, the Lord has created all things for himself, yea, even the wicked, for the day of evil. So Esau, Edom was created for this day to, to be the whooping stick. You know, on to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, two thirds of you for your disobedience. So this vengeance is coming for you. This this day like none other is coming for you, wicked Jakes. And we've been warning you, we've been telling you to get right, telling you to get right with Yahweh by Shema Shai to repent, you know, to seek the Lord's face ten times more to get in order, you know, to humble down. But you know, when pride cometh then come the shame. You see? It says, For we know him that has said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. Verse 31 is a fearful thing to, to fall into the hands of the living God. So the Lord is about to judge his people. You see? You see that? The Lord is about to judge his people. And we will warn you, telling you that it's a fearful thing to fall into his hands. You know, it's a fearful thing for the Lord to send his right and his left hand upon you. Esau, Edom, and these uh, natural, and Yahweh by Shema Shai with these uh, natural disasters. You know, and, uh, whoa, you know, if you survive all this, you gotta see Yahweh Shai come back. You know, it's not gonna be anything sweet for you. Even if you don't survive it, the Lord's going to raise some of you uh, people up from the grave to get burnt up. Because you have to pay for the sins that you've done in this life, don't you? This is uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7 at last, for that day is great, for that, so that none is like it. it. Is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. You see? That he that's going to be saved out of this time of trouble for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans is the man that has repented. The man, woman, child, you know, that's striving, you know, to serve Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, that, that's striving to enter in at the straight gate that we may enter into the kingdom of heaven. You see, those that are repenting, you know, casting off the ways of this world. And, and 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 arming themselves with the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh by Shema Shai, which shall be the stability of our times. This is a Daniel chapter one. I'm sorry, Daniel chapter four, verse one. And at that time shall Michael stand up. See, we have Michael, the head angel under Yahweh Shai. He's about to stand up. And who who who's he about to stand up for? You know, you, you have a standard being lifted, you know, you have someone that's about to stand up, you know, he's about to spring forth into action, but for who though? The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and who are the Lord's people? You know, who who are who are the uh, Lord's people? Those who are uh, who, who are going through the fire, you know, these fiery trials. The scripture said, when thou come to serve the Lord. You know, to, to prepare your soul for temptation, right? So we we come to serve Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, the Israel of the Most High. A Jew is not one. 
outwardly, but a Jew is one inwardly. And circumcision is not of the flesh, but of the, but of the heart. You know, you have to be circumcised. In the spirit of your mind, you have to cut off that foreskin of your mind, meaning you have to cut off the ways of America from out of your mind, those hedonistic ways. You have to be uh, renewed, you have to be born again, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. <coughs> this is uh, Daniel 12 and 1. At that time, shall Michael stand up? The great prince was standing for the children of thy people, and there should be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. So we're one day closer to a time like none other. What are you doing with your time? You know, you you, you scheming, you plotting, trying to trying to uh, uh, trying to get some money. You know, trying to get some uh, FRN notes, uh, uh, trying to make it in this uh, felon society, trying to get some 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 uh, some harlots. You know, what I mean, these these women ain't nothing. Trying to get these women, yo. Women are bugged out of their minds. You know what I mean? Well, well you know, well, what are you really fighting for? You know, well, well, what's so important? What's more important than you being delivered, you know, from all hell breaking loose? Oh, but you don't believe all hell breaking loose. You think everything's going to stay the same. You know, we'll see, though. We'll see. It's better to be prepared. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's better to be prepared. And a wise man, a prudent man, he's going to foresee this evil that's coming. And he's going to hide himself in the knowledge of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. You see? But the simple, the, the simple of our people, they pass on, and they're going to be punished. You see, it says, And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, the prudent of our people, you know, those that make Yahweh by Shema Shai their refuge, you know, and their salvation, they're going to be delivered. It says, Everyone that shall be found, Written in the book, you see. So Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, is is one day closer, you know, to coming back and not only bringing, you know, doom and gloom to America, you know, but also salvation for those who have repented, you know, those who have been sanctified from the foundation of the earth, and Lord's will require that number, with that Lord's will you're edified, I'm gonna say shall one.